Welcome to F1000 Insider. I'm Dustin Hodges. We are live from Summit Point Motorsports Park for round seven and eight of the 2020 North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by EPC USA. Before we strap on the helmets, belt into the cars, and roll out for qualifying, let's see who took home the big cash and prizes from the Friday Night Random Drawing Awards and Dinner Social. Data Destruction, Remarketing, Recycling. IT Asset Disposition Services you need now. Thank you, EPC. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mike. $100 from Ray Spears. All right. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. <laughs> what? He said what? 1 to 10. Yeah. I said 1 to 20. <laughs> 1 to 10. Why did he say 15? $100 from MRR Raceline. Guys that made this phenomenal shirt, made your wonderful suit that I know you love. I do. And the carding suit you destroyed. But, but it got, it got cleaned up so it looks like brand new. It is awesome. Okay. Even though we did 24 hours in the rain with it, it still looks great. It was brown. It was, <laughs> it was, it was very, very brown. Oh, it, it was great. Bob, Bob did comment. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> he did. All right. Well, congratulations. Well, Thank you again, Bob. Bob. Thanks so much for rolling with something easy. 100 bucks for the young blood. Congratulations to Scotty Young Enterprises. Racing gearboxes at its best. That T word nobody should be using anymore. From what Scotty told me, his sales this year, I don't think anybody is. So that's doing pretty good down there. Uh, but all right, so $100 from Scotty. Oh, <laughs> You're the only one. Well, thank you. Here's Scotty. Thank you, 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 Scotty. This weekend's schedule was a little different with qualifying on Friday afternoon and it was once again Alex Mayer taking the MPT pole position for round 7 in the number 77 Technotech Suzuki powered JDR. Lining up outside Alex, the number 81 Waterfall Security Solutions Suzuki powered JDR of Tim Pierce with Jason Slayer rounding out the top 3 in the number 9 Slayer Racing Kawasaki powered Citation. When the green flag flew on round seven, Slayer hung around the outside and was ready to challenge Pierce on turn one. However, it took him to turn two to get by. With Mayer focused on breaking his 2019 track record to keep his three weekend streak alive, it was a battle for Tim Pierce and Jason Slayer for second place. Halfway through the race, however, Slayer would spin coming out of the horseshoe and give second place to Tim Pierce putting the field back in starting order to cross the checker. Now let's go check in on the podium from round seven. EPC is your full service solution for responsible end of use IT asset disposal. Let's get our third place finisher to take a step up where he's standing, I guess. Uh, yeah, your trophy's right behind you. Uh, third place finisher. You almost had the other one over there. There's a microphone right behind you, by the way. Grab that. and. Uh, I have it on video, so I know what happened, but you want to tell everybody else what happened? Well, first of all, almost on the couch, of course, she's a hand grenade, damn it, but I could see Alex. He wasn't getting too far away, you know, at that particular point, you know, and I could see him, and every lap just pushing harder and harder, and that guy started turn five, I'll tell you. It wasn't for these damn corners, it'd be easy. Right. <laughs> Well, you put on a good show, and I'm glad you got it restarted, got back out there, you know, kind of made some laps, and, you know, brought home a third place finish, so can't be too bad after a year hiatus. You're not too bad, there's always tomorrow. There you go, and you got, you know, for coming in and missing practice and qualifying, just rolling out for the race, it's pretty impressive, though. so congratulations on that. Next up, if we can get our second place finisher, it's going to be Mr. Tim Pierce. Hey. Go ahead, Tim. How was your race, man? You, uh, Jason kind of nabbed you there on the start, but you got it back. Well, brand new tires, and they weren't scuffed in, and I was not expecting him to come around me in turn three. I was like, holy crap, where did he come from? Uh, but then he just kind of walked away. I, I tried to to uh, close up the gap. I was running consistently hard, uh, just trying to figure out a way around this place. It's only third weekend here. That's, this is his home track. He knows it. Uh, he knows where to go. I don't. But uh, when I saw him in the in the gravel, uh, you know, I, I kind of probably let off just a little bit because uh, you know I, that messed up that whole turn anyway. So uh, just kind of breathing a little bit. And then we went full force caution. And, I, I just never, my tires never really recovered, it, it felt like anyway. But uh, it was a good day, it was hot as crap, even though it's not really hot, hot outside. It's hot in that car. But uh, look forward to tomorrow. 
Well, you got a black car and a black helmet, so it would be hot in 40 degree weather, I have a feeling. Uh, but Jason, why'd you go hide, man? Come on, stay up here. We got to, you know, it's a podium, man. Imagine you're standing on a box. You know, well, that's probably going to happen. And by the way, you said the stickers, you know, they turn on that fast? So they're Hoosiers, man. You don't need to warm them up. Hit it and roll. Uh, but all right, first place finisher, your winner, did not set a track, did not set a track record, let me down, Mr. Alex Baker. <laughs> Grab that mic. Uh, you had a good race. I was actually thinking the yellow flag, you might have burned the tires trying to do a fast slap, and Tim was going to grab you there on that restart, but... It, it sure felt like it. Um, when the green flag came down the first time, Tim got a good start, and I got in front of me going into one, and we rode it pretty much side by side through one, and almost through turn two. <laughs> and um, and once I got ahead, I just kind of set a pace, just yeah. kept going and trying to keep, keep him back there. Uh, I saw Jason hanging with me there for a little while as well. And then yeah. on the restart, uh, Tim got me again on the restart, and he got way in front of me, and I tried to go around him on the outside, which amazingly it stopped on a restart. Um, I was very surprised, but other than that, it was a good race. It was another hot weekend. So, yeah, thanks, guys. Well, congratulations again. You guys put on a phenomenal race. Uh, I was running around filming. There's people at every corner, all the karting people, and, and I, I mean, everybody comes out to hear these scream at 14,000 cc motor or 14,000 RPM motors. So, uh, yeah, but congratulations, guys. Trophies behind you. Pick them up. Come on. You know, you've been there before. Act like you've been on a podium. Congratulations, gentlemen. <laughs> Don't forget, we'll do weekend money totals after tomorrow's race. So you get big checks here at the end of the weekend for all the cash and prizes. But uh, you got champagne behind you, so let's grab those bottles. Let's go out here into the street, do a do a little spin move here, and let's have some. Hey, Jason! So yeah, you guys missed the fun because they jumped the gun. That's what happens when you get three guys. They they just went early. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching round seven. Become a pro at this. It's not fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching round seven, guys. We'll be back tomorrow for round eight practice and or qualifying and the race. Check out the Facebook feed for times. And if anything changes, we'll make sure to update you. Congratulations again, Jason, Tim, and Alex. Great race. Phenomenal weekend here at Summer Point. We'll see y'all tomorrow for round eight. When the round eight flag dropped, Tim Pierce was ready. Not only keeping Slayer at bay, but jumping by Mayor into the lead. Battle continued for multiple laps as Mayer and Pierce went back and forth for that top spot. However, once again, it would be Mayor Pearson Slayer on the podium. Now let's check in on the podium from round eight. State of the art electronics recycling. Processing more than 1.5 million IT assets a year. Mr. Jason Slayer! <laughs> Jason, the microphone behind you, man. Grab that. It's on. You should be good to go. Uh, tell us what happened out there, man. You uh, you seem like you're struggling a little bit. Uh, struggle would be an understatement. Um, if I knew what happened, I would have not been struggling. Um, we're still trying to figure it out, but um, good job to Alex and Tim keeping it clean for turn one, two, and three at the start. After that, I couldn't see y'all anymore, so I don't know whatever happened after that. That's between y'all guys. But um, good race, everybody. Have a safe trip home, and hopefully we'll see you guys at Pittsburgh. So congratulations, man. I mean, everybody knows you can drive, and uh, we know it's not you, so there's, uh, we know something's going on there. But you guys get it figured out, and uh, hopefully 
you can find another day off work and be at Pitt or Atlanta or something, you know? We like having you around, man. So figure out a way to get out of work, you know? Tell the government you need a day off. It's not the government job, it's the other job. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Stay, yeah, stay uh, in the frame of the banner and you're in the frame. So, uh, And our second place finisher, 81, Mr. Tim Pierce. And you, uh, you took the lead there at turn one. That was a great start. Great start. I went way too hot into turn one. <laughs> lit them up, the back end went sideways. And I scared those guys. That's why they let me take it. Because I scared the crap out of them. But, uh, I know, right? So yeah, I had to clean my underwear while I got out of my suit. It was uh, pretty interesting. My tires were still a little cold. And uh, I got in there and just went sideways. Uh, Alex and I fought uh, for the next few turns. Uh, Jason, I could see back behind me. Next thing I know, Alex checked out. He's gone. Uh, I'm looking in my mirrors trying to find Jason. I couldn't find Jason either. So I was like, well, I just got to keep the, the hammer down and, and not let Jason catch back up to me. The track deteriorated during the race. Uh, it got hotter and hotter. Tires started going away. It started getting really, really loose. And it was hard to maintain any kind of speed through some of the turns with the, the really hot tires. But, um, you know, Alex, he's a champion. He, uh, he left me. He, I kept him at least in sight for the first uh, several laps, but after that, he was gone. So, uh, thanks to uh, Bam Motorsports, uh, JDR Motorsports, and Right Turn Racing, all the other sponsors that support us. It's been a great weekend. Thank you. Congratulations, sir. Good job, man. That was a great start. I got that on film. Great, great video. So, all right, now we get our third place finisher to come on up. Our first place finisher to come on up. I'm going the wrong direction here. And it is your pole sitter, the 77, Alex Mayer. Yay! What do you think about Tim's start, Alex? Ah, Tim and Jason, they both got by me on the start. I was in the middle of the sandwich here. And once they both got in front of me in turn one, Tim was sideways, like he said, going in, which he ended up holding it together and keeping the lead, which is awesome. Uh, Jason was right there. We were side by side all the way through one and two and the entrance to three. And then Tim and I had a little bit of a battle going into the, the hard left and into the carousel, which was pretty awesome. Gave Tim some room there in the carousel. <laughs> Stick with me in there. <laughs> but yeah, like, like Tim said, the track got really hot and greasy and all the grip just pretty much went away halfway through the race. So lap time slowed down and, and other than that, it was a great race, another good weekend. Sounds great. Congratulations. Great race, man. So before we do our checks, uh, Alex, you got a new decal on your car. I do, yes. And uh, you want to bring the man up and you uh, you guys can explain what's going on here with this? You guys are trying to... Uh, yeah, it's a good friend of mine. Good Jim, cause, right? Jim Welling. Um, this is sticker for him. It's uh, Team Harrison. Uh, you want to go ahead and explain what that, that is, of course? Um... So Team Harrison is, Harrison was my son, and he's diagnosed with cancer in 2016, and unfortunately he passed in 2018, March 20th. So, uh, got to know Mayor Motorsports really well, and I just happened to say, hey, would you mind putting a sticker on your car? And I don't even think I finished asking. And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I'll go to my guy, I'll get a mate, we'll slap him on the car, don't worry about it. So, that's kind of where it came from, and uh, greatly appreciate I, I don't know if you guys even know what this means to me. So, before I start getting emotional, I'll do it back. Yeah, thank you very much, Jay. Well, uh, for anything we can do to help is definitely, uh, the series is uh, behind you trying to support a little bit, give you a little bit of help. And uh, yeah, we're going to make sure all those details are on all the cars going forward. And uh, make that mandatory. Team Harrison's uh, definitely a part of the series now. Yeah, good job. Yeah. So, big check time. First up, third place for the weekend money. It is Jason Slater. $780 for Jason. Tim Pierce, $1,250. And Alex Mayer, $1,400. So, congratulations, gentlemen. Great weekend of racing. Uh, put on a great show. Once again, you guys are the greatest sounds in motorsports, and everybody loves it. Congratulations.
Yeah, you do. Just take it to the drive-thru. I'm sure they'll take it. Okay. Yeah. I, I really want to see somebody try and do it with direct deposit on their phone. Like, I, you know, how would they know it's not what size it is? Very so. true. Okay, guys, uh, come outside, and we're going to have some fun. You uh, ain't fun today, so you'll actually drink it. So have some fun, boys. <laughs> oh, I got my eye. <laughs> Woo! You know, anybody can spray champagne, but at least the beer, you'll drink it. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, you might have pulled yours a little much there, buddy. And I don't care if you pour that, because I don't mind smelling like beer. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys. Once again, round seven and eight in the boats here from Stone Point Motorsports Park. I'm Dustin Hodge for the North American Cool 1000 Championship presented by EPC USA. We'll see you guys in pit race. Yeah. Rounds nine and ten. And I forgot the date because I have beer on my head. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. See you guys soon. Congratulations again, guys, on a great weekend of F1000 Championship Pro Racing. Join us for our next event, October the 16th through the 18th at Pittsburgh International Race Complex. Are you ready to get behind the wheel and join F1000 Racing? Check out NorthamF1000.com for information on sales, rentals, and arrive and drive. Thanks again to all the series sponsors for keeping us going. We couldn't do it without you. Stay up to the minute every weekend and all season long with F1000 Racing on social media at North Am F1000. Once again, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Dustin Hodges for the North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by EPC USA. We'll see you at Pittsburgh International Race Complex October 16th to the 18th. EPC is a proud sponsor of the North American Formula 1000 Championship 